Okay, hey folks, I just thought I'd do a little uh, spat here about uh, the sickening refereeing we're seeing in, in boxing. Uh, for those of you that didn't watch it, uh, Virgil Ortiz fought uh, uh Lawson yesterday, Fred Frederick Lawson, and Ortiz in the first round got Fred pinned in the corner. He was hitting him, uh, but he was hitting glove and arms the vast majority of the time. And Ortiz had Lawson in the corner 10, 20 seconds. Uh, and Tony Weeks came in there and just stopped the fight. Uh, I don't even believe half of the first round had been completed. And uh, this is just awful what's happening to boxing. Uh, there's another guy. There's two more guys. They're just awful. They shouldn't be refereeing anything. I can't think of the other two guys' names right offhand, but if you saw them, you'd know them. Uh, one, Richard Steele. His his just name just came to my memory. Uh, Weeks, Steele, and there's another guy. He's a white fella. Uh, looks like something's wrong with his neck. It's uh, gotten a little chubby over the years, this guy. And oh, Lord have mercy, I can't think of his name, but these three just need to go. However, can we blame the referees? Uh, can we just simply put all the blame on them? Uh, I believe that's what the promoters would want you to do. I truly believe that. Uh, you can look in the corner and see who's promoting someone uh, and you can automatically, you, you'd automatically go, aha, this is what's going on. Uh, folks, let me tell you how easy the drop is. Um, Teddy Atlas has explained this a time or two, uh, he points out that some of these referees can just be wined and dined and that be what done. The stuff comes from all sides, all angles, uh, just to let you know. Let me give you an example. A guy's got an aging fighter over here and he doesn't want his fighter to get hurt, but he's got his this fighter a money fight. So, during the course of the ref visitation, uh, before the fight, or visitations, uh, which frequently happen but don't get talked about before the fights, um, a handler of one fighter can actually do the drop to have his fighter lose quicker and not get hurt for and take the big money and go. Uh, obviously, another angle is you want your fighter to win. You go to the ref and you settle it that way. Uh, you look at these purses today, even, and it happens more in these undercard and less meaning fights. You, you go, you're trying to push a guy up the line. Uh, there's a fight. Uh, they got a $4,000 draw going to the fighter and his team. And, They'll take five hundred or a thousand dollars and get it in the ref's hands, and your your bidding's done. 
this is done in a different way in judging, but I'm not talking about judging right now. Uh, and as lawyers, uh, as most of you are well aware, if you're not, you should be, uh, all these lawyers in your area and the court in your area is just a great big den of corruption. Um, you, if you're an adult, you, you'll know this. Uh, lawyers, call, they're calling in favors with each other and with judges and with district attorneys and their assistants all the time. It's a, it's, it's a part of the daily business, favor calling in injustice. Well, it's the same way in boxing. Um, uh, I really need to get my client off of this. I really, really need to, you to drop this charge down to this. Uh, and it's just money changers. And uh, that ain't, it's prevalent in boxing. And it's, I mean, openly present in boxing and openly pleasant and unspoken in, at the local courthouse. And it's the reason why I love us, almost every single one of us, boxing the sport I love to hate. But what happened last night, you should go watch uh, Frederick Lawson and Virgil Ortiz fight. Watch that fight if you can find it on YouTube uh, or recorded somewhere that you can get your eyes on it. And it's just so prevalent what's going on. Uh, meanwhile, they've got most of you so confused, uh, similar to the evening news that you sit and you watch uh, these fights we had last week or the week before. Uh, with the Wilder and the AJ uh, fights and you look at that AJ fight and all of you are going crazy and he's back, he's this, he's that. Uh, I would contest he nor Wilder had ever, had ever arrived. Um, that fight with AJ and, and the other guy, you know, that guy got a broke nose, pure and simple. He, he had a nosebleed and he couldn't handle it and he quit. Not that he could have in any way, shape or form beat AJ, but I'm just telling you, uh, AJ called him early. He did, AJ did a good job, but, uh, Folks, the reason why I bring that up is just be, analyze what you're looking at and don't pack analyze it. Um, really look deep. Look at the history behind something. Uh, look at what was happening two months ago to 30 years ago and on up to or 50 years ago or 100 on up to today and what's changed and why uh what's going on here uh really truly analyze something uh i'm seeing in boxing everybody's just going from fight to fight uh every lower class guy uh, lower weight class guy uh, they won a fight and all of a sudden, oh, they're my pound for pound best uh, in the world today. Really? Come on. So get to thinking out there with the boxing. Last thing I want to say is Street Beefs in the UK uh, debuted last night or yesterday. I don't rightly know what time it was. We're on different time where we're at. And, uh, uh, but I, I got to watch the main event and I enjoyed it. Um, it it's kind of a hybrid thing. They're, they're boxing and they're using MMA type. I don't know if they're three or six ounce. I don't call them really gloves or I call them pads, but uh, they're using those. Um, 
and it's it's good stuff it's good stuff so go check them out that was an excellent uh inaugural event for street beefs in the uk excellent excellent i haven't got to watch the whole event i got to watch uh two other guys go at it but it was in a video short uh so i'm interesting to see if they're going to put all these put all these out and i'm sure they will but they're probably at different times uh i don't know how they're going to do it but uh go over there and check them out because you you'll you'll enjoy it uh that was a great inaugural event uh from something like that and my hats are off to those gentlemen because they did a great job and uh stay on the lookout later today because i'm gonna put a video out and the video i'm gonna put out is gonna be an important video this is gonna be very important um for your life so make sure that you if you watch this video try to make sure you come and you watch the one coming behind it so uh god bless you good folk and we will see you later